perfectly honest, I think it originated a couple of years ago as Year 11s when we were helping out the Year 12s uh, in 2014 run their uh, soccer event. And then leading up into Year 12, we sort of had the opportunity to run it ourselves. And we sort of were thinking, how, how do we use these funds? How do we... How can we make a difference with what we're doing and I suppose that's where the mural came out, something that we can leave an impact on the school with and something that will last beyond when we leave. Well it initially came from Bailey's idea back in uh, term 4 of year 11. He came with the idea instead of donating the funds to a, an organisation or a, an Indigenous community, we, we never really see where those funds end up and how they're affected. So he came with the idea of um, creating a mural to uh, put that into Scotch life, um, to promote reconciliation. Well I think a large part of Indigenous culture is the art that they produce and it's obviously something that's very um, exclusive to them in terms of the techniques and the style that they employ which Barbara really showcased as I said with the, with the swirls and the water and the dots. And a lot of it came from a couple of sit-downs that we had with her. We discussed ideas throughout some things that we wanted to achieve through this mural with reconciliation, bringing boys together, and the recognition of the Aboriginal culture, which really came through the mural with the use of the spirals in the water, the rain, and the dot painting on a lot of the animals. We spoke about what we as boys wanted to incorporate and as well as, well as Barbara. So that, that involved involving Lake Claremont, uh, incorporating boys, what, what, Scotch, what Scotch life is about and how we can take that forward and promote reconciliation into the future. Just showing the boys how this was created, the painting was actually painted in front of the boys throughout the school week. So just showcasing how she went about it so they could see that work in progress really helped them gain a, a bit of understanding of how this artwork was created and the process that goes into the Indigenous artwork. And the more, the more knowledge of the Aboriginal culture that we have, the easier reconciliation will be and the uh, further we'll work towards it. So that really helped work out.